are at the Ramon Sanchez Pichuan, which might be open to the skies, but it's one of the best stadiums anywhere for atmosphere. I'm Guy Mowbray, and I'll be joined for commentary by Sue Smith, the former England forward. And everything is set up nicely to give us a really good match. It's Sevilla, and they take on Barcelona. Well, thanks, Guy. I can't wait for this one today. The atmosphere is buzzing, and I'm hoping the football lives up to it. This is the lineup for Sevilla. They are lining up in a 4-3-3 system, and with this, it naturally creates triangles all over the pitch, so it means lots of options for players. It does allow them to get forward and support the attacks as well. This is the Barcelona team sheet. Yeah, it looks to be a false nine with the three up front, but a slightly withdrawn role in the centre. They're supported by a narrow midfield and a traditional back four, where you'd expect the fullbacks will push up and help provide the support. And so the first half kicks off. Bon Marti. Barcelona pushing forward with options available. Kira Walsh. Looks a good ball. It's 1-0. The first blow struck very early. Well, if we look at this again, what a ball this is. The weight of pass is just right to set up the opportunity. And as soon as she's through 1v1 with the goalkeeper, she just goes for power and smashes it in the net. It's a quality finish. And the game restarts with the score 1-0. The referee playing advantage. Making good progress here. And stopped in their tracks with a change in possession. Barca recovering possession well. Pateas. Pateas. They've lost it there, and the attack is over. Pateas. Walsh. Oh, great block. Promising looking ball. What can they do from here? Now, this has to be another goal, and it's one that tightens their grip on this game.
Well, here's the replay. It's poor defending, but you can't take anything away from the movement and the calm finish. It's a really nice goal, that. And the game restarts with the score 2-0. Trying to spark the attack further into life here. They're just looking now for that final pass through. The ref allowing the game to flow. A body in the way. Patrick Guijaro. Graham Hansen. Good ball in behind. Well, there's another, and they're running away with it now. It's become a question of just how many they'll get. Well, we can have another look at this. It's a brilliant strike. She makes great contact with the ball, and the goalkeeper just watches it fly past her. And with that, the first half comes to an end here in Andalusia. And we're off for the second half. challenge that's brought a whistle and a free kick well just a warning from the ref this time ah oh, it's good refereeing strong but not flashing the card at every opportunity And away, they've got it clear. Caroline Graham Hansen. Walsh. Von Marti. Mateus. Crucial defending. They found a way through. Giharo, genuine chance. Well, that's offside. Dear, oh dear. What on earth was she doing there in the first place? I've no idea. She looks a bit embarrassed, doesn't she? And you can understand why. It's really poor positioning, you've got to say. Mateus. Gets passed really nicely. The 
crowd urging her to shoot. There it is. Dispatched well, much to the delight of the fans. Well, here's the replay, and what a strike this is. She gets so much power behind it. The keeper's got no chance. And away we go again at 3-1 now. Patrick Guijaro. Potéas. Aitana Bonmarti. Bronze. Well, they could get caught out on the break here. Promising position this. for the finish and a marvellous save well I thought that was a goal but she shows her quality there with a big save and here it comes Bon Marti. Alexia Poteas. Well, that brings the match to a close. A frustrating day for the fans in attendance, and it's three points dropped. Yeah, they never really got going for me. They looked nervy in possession. There was too many errors at the back, and they've been punished. It's a disappointing performance for sure.